Mark Ford. Oh, all right now. Then woman there. Yeah. Can't carry picnic for me. Then woman there. Can't cook then. Can't wash then. Can't clean then. Can't have get no picnic for me. Fine, blank, and argument. Done. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Claudia's Corner. This is your girl Claudia's. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. Remember now to like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when my new videos are released. And to you my regular subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for the continued support. So today I'm heading to Emancipation Park. I'm taking Case Lee to dance class and also will be learning to dance to the Jerusalem dance. Which we will be having a talent show on the 29th. So guys, stay tuned for that. I will be going live on that day. So now, let's jump right into today's video. Today, I will be asking random persons what are the qualities or characteristics they look for in a person before having a child with them. Is physical appearance a major factor? Will it be personality? Or is money important to the mix? So follow me. Let's hear what persons have to say about this topic. So continue watching Claudia's Corner. Judah? Um, what do I look for in a female breeder? <laughs> that actually, um, she have to have she well she must have she good hair um not be ugly personality i mean it all depends you don't have to look good good but average because what if my ugly more my child to be have a little Oops. little look and yeah personality plays a lot um family background of intelligence have to be educated because suppose i'm not around to Help the child in the future when it comes down to education. Um, more the mother can do certain things. Basically, that's long story short. That's it. Yeah, the same thing. That's actually, no, 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 that, that's actually the same. That's actually the same, 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 same. Alright. Um, I look for. I mean, I look for a nice person to the girl. Nice shape. I don't have a type in girls, by the way. So, and she has to have an education. She has to have an education about the girls. That's what I look for for our breed. Alright, what does everyone look for? A uh, uh, shape. You know what? A girl can be in a complex and look her way and she still, um, you know, still have a good personality in her. You understand? So, I'm not really looking for a piece of shape and I don't want to stick still, but, you know. You know if you have a big shape or a big or you understand? So at least at, at, at that one thing, you just know say so you have a personality, your mindset really good. And you know, you go get her, you understand? So at them they look for your girl. It's looking for girl. Uh, 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 Alright, so what do you look Yeah. Somebody who now look for. money. Yeah. Yeah. You work with the highs. You work with the lows. Yeah. You don't have to be that beautiful, but you are beautiful inside. Yeah. Your self confidence is high. Yeah. And you have potential. That's it. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, All right. Go back to work. Yeah, man. Hard working man, you know. Yeah. Watch him. Wow. You do a good job here, man. Thank you. Welcome. Some 
of the things that I look for in a man before I have his child is he has to be smart. He has to be very intellectual. He has to be a mover shaker. He has to be an aggressor. He has to be very ambitious. First of all, I like a tall, handsome guy. <laughs> and I look for a man that is like know how to dress, have charisma, that you know when he walk into a room he can captivate the crowd. Like he can take charge, he takes command of his space. You know, I look for a man that will take over, that will take control of everything that is very successful, that take over that will take control of everything that is very successful that is a mover shaker like he has a hustle mentality because i want for my children to be very aggressive i want my children to come out to be very motivated that wants to learn and that crave education crave success and these are the things that I look for in a man because these are the qualities that I want my children to have. I want my children to be just like, hey, I want this and I'm going to go out and I'm going to get it. She is like a loving person, caring and kind. Yeah. And something to look for. Mm -hmm. she, she treat her mom. Yeah, so she has to treat her good. Yeah, she has to treat her good. So what about her, her appearance, her face, her shape? Are you not really busy? You not really busy about that? You know, for, I don't really look for her shape, you know. Really? Yeah, I don't really look for her shape. And the personality, I look for her. What person react? When you cheat, man. Yeah, that looks fun. Before I have a child with a man, I need that man to be responsible. I'm not sure. That man should know what is his and be able to take care of what's his. Right? You know, financial stability, of course, every woman wants that. Even the ones that are able to take care of a child themselves. I'm able, I would be able to take care of my child, but I still want a man, you know, that is stable. Because in the event that something happens to me, I need someone to take care of my kid. <laughs> so, uh, you know, a sense of responsibility. You should be able to teach my child certain important values that will allow my child to function properly in society. The characteristics that I will look for in a woman is that she is caring. That's the, that's the most important part. She must. She should be also an intelligent person. Someone that, that wonders about life and about important things of life. Uh, but the most important part is that she, she has a really big heart. Uh, obviously, I mean, looks, it's, it's always a thing, <laughs> right? Yes. But it, it shouldn't determine the the decision that you make only because of the looks of a person that's not how it was here. big heart yeah and someone that wonders about the important things of life that's the most important thing for all right so certain characteristics that i would look for in a man before getting pregnant um he has to be stable he has to show security Someone who is respectful, not only to me but to others. He has to show humility, he has to show integrity. So, those are some of the characteristics that I would look for in a man for his pregnant. Wow, today is such a nice windy day. I love it. Love it. Hearing, understand. That's how I look for a woman, make sure she's up to date, up to quality. What about personality? Yeah. Uh, face and shape, you're going for yeah. nothing like that? Yeah, face and shape, but not really necessary. You can't do all your... 
Yeah, what did I say now? The personality doesn't yeah. matter the shape they have. Because uh, some women have sexy shape, shape and they don't have good personality. Yeah, your heart. Yeah. yeah. And they're kind, gentle. Because they love being sharing. I love you above. So, some characteristics I look for in a man before getting pregnant for him. First, we have to be in a committed relationship. Once that committed commitment has been established, then marriage. And then we can think about having children after that. So that's it for me. Alright. You, you know, I know a, 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 a person just by looking at me. But by um by being around them and with them over time you know, come to know um, things about them. But for me, as I would say, my woman has to she has a certain look, for sure. Oh, so you go with shape and face and all of those? Yeah, she has a certain look, but she has a certain character for me. You know, you know like loose woman. Yeah. And, yeah, that woman that like to, you know, she has to, she, she has to show a certain, uh, she has to have certain self-control for me to, to really you know anything at all. Things like that. So, and, um, you have to kind of course, but, Sometimes it's when it's only when you when you um come to know them you know you know things about them. So, as I was saying before, I, I would never talk to certain things. Because first I want to check out you know their behavior and, and how they carry and, themselves. Yeah. My leader I'm talking to is very very nice, you know what I'm saying? Like, very kind, loving. Yeah. And, you know, I really, really You'd have her. kids with her. Yes, she came a son for me. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. And when I met her, she was still in school, university. Yeah. So you're like educated woman also. Yes, you have to be educated. You have to kind of reason with them. Yeah. You know, we all should come and I told her. Yeah. And I'm a person. Why? You know, I like the way how we go. Yeah. Very rude, very old and bad. No, 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 qualities that I look for in a man is his personality. First and foremost, I have to know that he's loving and caring and he will be the man of my dreams. So that is the, that is the quality or characteristic that I look for in a man. Teach him the right way how to grow up in a life. So, you know, you know grow up right man as a boy, respectable, healthy and strong. He is far? Yes, what a good yeah. boy! Yay! Judah is only one year old. Yes, it's for Apple. Yeah, can't carry pick them. Can't cook them, can't wash them, can't clean. So what we would we, we do with a woman like that? What let's go tell if you them want a child with that the woman there? Oh no, can't. Them the woman they are not human, them they are human too. Yeah, human too. Them the human they are human too. Can't get pitney for me. No, not hard. You see what me I say? Yeah, can them the woman they can't get no pitney for me. Because if you try to get pity for me, I don't want them to do one day. Because all you can do, your uncle lady don't have bed. No pity, no bed. If you can't work, yeah, if you, me alone can't bear the burden. You see what I say, what you want to do? Lift my phone every day? No. 
No, you have to work with some of the money too. So if you can't work, you can't get no picnic for me. Alright? No, no picnic for me you can't get. Alright? You may debate about that. Eh? Some of them the woman they live in the jungle. Yeah. Fish go and swing for a whist. Yeah. And feel live with lion and tiger. Yeah. But them the woman there. No, sir. Them a woman that way in a this world at them at time and that time. Yeah. I no human at all. Them a, a gold digger. So they can't have get no picnic for me. Pine blank and argument done. Some of the qualities that I would look for before I'm becoming pregnant for the person I'm involved with is that the person has to be kind, loving, honest, hardworking and very much ambitious to match mine. Just rehearsal. I really would love to hear what you guys have to say. So please leave me a comment. Let's have a discussion on this topic. Feel free to express yourself and share your views. They do matter on Claudia's Corner. Remember also to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when my new videos are released. Now let's take a look at some of our national heroes displayed right here at Emancipation Park. If you have never visited Emancipation Park, now is the time to do so. So this is a statue of the late Norman Washington Manley. And this is showing from when he was born to when he died. And this statue was donated by the Rotary Club of Kingston. And this is a statue of Sir William Alexander Bustamante. Here is a statue of Paul. Over here we have Marcus Mosiah Garvey. And here we have Samuel Sharp. George William Gordon. And here we have the only female heroine and she's Nanny of the Maroon. The scenery, the greenery at Emancipation Park relaxes you and puts your mind at peace. The place is clean, the landscaping is perfect, and there is lots of room for social distancing. The area is ideal for picnics, so grab your kids and come along. Wedding photos, graduation, any occasion, exercising, fitness, or just to meet up with a group of friends. But in my case, dancing in the park, as the great Bob Marley said, Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery, not but ourselves can free our minds. Thanks for watching.